Hi there guys, my name's Chris, welcome back. Now for those of you who've been watching the channel for a little while, follow me on social media, etc. You're probably familiar with the fact that I'm quite into slings as far as gear goes. I like to have a good sling, you know, I've built my own over the years using different manufacturers. I've spent quite a lot of money trying to figure out what's the best sling overall. So today we're looking at something uh, that Blue Force Gear has sent over for me to take a look at. And this is the Uber Loop. New release from, uh, from Blue Force Gear. I saw them at Shot Show. Just new release for 2016, and uh, it's a pretty interesting little widget, guys. I know it's very small and it doesn't look that interesting, but uh, actually it can do quite a lot for you in terms of uh, in terms of slings. So first off, what's it made of? You got two main components here. I'll, I'll point them out for you. So we've got the actual plastic form piece here. This is plastic, not metal, and this is a glass reinforced Dupont. Zytel nylon. So as plastic goes, it's about as tough as you get. Now it's not actually solid, you'll notice it's got a bit of flex in it there, but that's actually what you want because if this was a rigid stiff plastic, when things hit it, it would just be brittle and it would snap, whereas if it's got a bit of flex, so it can take an impact and not break. Then on the, the other side, this metal loop, this is stainless steel, this is aircraft grade stainless steel I should say, you've got a stainless steel wire inside with a nylon coating and then mil spec ball ends on there which are crimped to the actual wire itself so yeah, this uh, this wire isn't going to rust on you obviously the way it works is very simple now these come in two widths so that width there you can get one inch and 1.25 inch so that's going to cover pretty much any sling you've got so you've got the black they come in tan green and gray so that's going to cover whatever type of gear you've got using it's very simple this this ball end here is permanently affixed it's never coming out this one, when you want to actually attach it to your sling, you push it upwards, out, and then wriggle it around, and then it's out, just like so. When you want to put it onto your sling, I've got a Blue Force Gear Vickers sling here. What you do, so you've got your, got your tri-glide and your webbing. Literally, as you can imagine, just slide it through, put that back through the tri-glide, and then back again to make sure it's secure, and then that is on there. There we go guys, nice, very simple attachment. Kind of looks like it was meant to come like that from the factory really, oh, I think anyway. Good thing is once it's on the sling, you can't actually press the, um, well you're certainly not gonna accidentally press the ball out of the socket so far that it can come out, so it's actually held in there. If you grip the sling and press it like that, apply a lot of tension, you can push it and then pop it out, but it's not gonna do that of its own accord during normal usage guys. So as you can see, the sling actually holds the wire in there like so obviously being that you can get these in different sizes you can use blue force gear slings that's probably the brand i'd recommend there like certainly in terms of options they do an enormous range of options of these these vicar slings but you can use magpul first spear viking tactics uh you know whichever whichever sling you want to use there's, there's lots of good brands and this this will work with them if you prefer another type of sling of, of the options out there and the main feature to this this u loop uber loop is basically the versatility of it. As I say, it looks very simple, but this can be applied to an extremely wide range of different firearms, different weapons platforms. And we're gonna do a strength test later in the video after I've done the demo on the different platforms just to see how tough it is. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be military toughness. I don't, you know, I don't think there's gonna be worries there. This is definitely a, a product that's gonna be applicable for police and military, firearm shooters, airsoft, milsim, um, Probably use it for paintball. You could probably use it for any sort. Of, you could probably use it in a fucking guitar or a fishing rod. I don't know any, any sort of bag or case, whatever that has a has a strap on. It, it's probably applicable if, if so desired. But anyway, um, as I say, the, the versatility of, of the U loop is one of the key features. So I'm going to go through a bunch of different guns just to just show you how it can fit on all sorts of different sling points. So fitting the U loops onto different weapons platforms. We'll start off AR-15, of course. I'll warn you guys in the states now. I'm limited to airsoft over here, there's nothing much I can do about that. But I've done my best to pick airsoft weapons out of my collection that arise there using real parts like this ALG Defense uh, M-Lock handguard just here. Don't know if you were able to see that. Uh, or ones that are sized close or you know exactly the same as the real thing. So as I say, start with AR-15. As you see on M-Lock, you loop just go straight on there. Nice, that'll work on key mod and um, handguards that use their own proprietary rails as well, like the early Midwest tubes, 
uh, Geisley, stuff like that. Literally anything where you've got two holes close to each other with a connecting piece or a dividing bar, you can attach the U-loops onto there. It's a little more fiddly with key mod and stuff that isn't meant to be a sling point, but as you can see it works just fine and then you can twist into whatever orientation you want to have your sling. So no worries there. FN platform. Um, as you can see, this is what I used to do with these bits of paracord uh, when I had sling points that wouldn't work with my slings. Uh, it's, uh, just to show you, I'd make these up. And these still work, you can actually just tie a knot, loop it through and then back through itself. However, this is going to be a lot more durable than this in the long term. And uh, it's just a better, more professional solution. It's going to be more, more resistant to a lot of things. So yeah, who looks a lot better choice. As you can see on the scar, you've got these sling points here. You can't clip paraclips onto these from the Magpul slings. And obviously you can't thread a, a sling through them like a Vicar sling. But with the U-loop, you just feed that through. Attach it on like so. And there you go. There's your, there's your sling point. It's an easy much better option, much easier to remove, much more tough and durable than, uh, than just using paracord. And it, it works with absolutely anything. Easy to remove, even with gloves on. Just a six, this has got a really nice sling point just here, just at the base of your stock, which is great for one point slings, but uh, you can't clip Magpul slings on there. You can't thread your, your Blue Force gear slings through it, but with your, with your blue, put that, through like that, piece of cake. Another thing on weapons like this that are plastic, where these points are plastic, if you use one of these, this nylon cable is not gonna eat into the plastic in your weapon, whereas a HK snap or a mash hook is gonna just absolutely grind that to death as you, as you run around with it. I've seen it. I'm sure plenty of you out there have seen it as well. AKM, another example of good advantage of these. HK snap on here on the final sling point rattles around metal on metal contacts, makes a ton of noise. Get that out of the way, get your U-loop, put that onto there. Yeah, it still makes a noise, however, it's very much deadened compared to the, uh, compared to the, the metal clacking against metal. Having this, this nylon coating on here is, uh, is much preferable and also the actual plastic piece hitting against the weapon is much quieter. Again, it's not silent, but I, f I find it's a lot quieter when it does hit versus the uh, metal options. From a popular pistol in the States now, CZ Scorpion, it's got these nice sling points right back here. Again, plastic, so another prime example. Put your U-loop right through there. That will attach on beautifully. Last thing to do is test the uh, strength, the toughness of these things. Are they strong enough to hold your weapon and uh, keep keep it when it, when you uh, have a little bit of force exerted on them? So let's go find out. All right, guys. So we've got our Uber loop set up on Blue Force Gear Bigger Sling, ready for the strength test. Got a weights machine here. Let's hook it up. I'm going to start. And a small weight and, uh, and go up the pegs and the levels there. I'm using one, obviously, chances are you're probably using two just to test it to like a really high level, just put a lot of stress on it. I'm just going to use the one instead of attaching both ends of the sling just to simulate if you were using a one point sling. So we're starting off on 25 pounds, which is something in the region of the weight of a, uh, an FN mag M240. I'm just going to lift it, lift the weight stack to see what it does. Not breaking the sweat. I'm going to have to go a lot higher. That's 40 pounds, 18 kg on the weight stack. No problem. Pounds, 22 and a half kilos, 60 pounds now, it's 32 k. Yeah, 
90 pounds, 41 kilos. pounds, 45 kg. Yeah, so we're up to coming in on a closer camera guy. Get, getting on that. We're up to 120 pounds, 54 kilos on just one of the little loops up here. So let's do that. See if I can do the full stack. 150 pounds, 68 kilos. So that's as far as we can go. So there we have it, guys. We blew it, as you can see, not even, not even the slightest hint of failing or damage. It's well made. Incredibly versatile, very useful, has a lot of uh, handy features to it. And as you can see, more than strong enough. I have to say, I was a little dubious about this test. I wasn't sure about actually putting it on film because I thought it might, um, the wire might pull through the plastic or it might, it might snap, but literally no sign of it whatsoever. It's not even bent or stretched or showing any signs of distress at all. So there you have it guys. If you've got any weapons that you think this could work well on, check it out, link down in the description. Let me know what sort of uh, platforms, weapons you, you know that you might have that could be useful, that could use a, a sling attachment like this. Uh, let me know what sort of slings you like down in the comments below. It would be always interesting to hear what you think, uh, what sort of gear you're running. If you want to see more gear reviews like this, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like. Cheers for watching. I'll see you next time.